I just wanted to talk a little bit about VAR uh, after Mike Dean's comments earlier that I heard. Uh, this time last week, uh, the, the the outrage from the despicable and outrageous and injustice that happened uh, uh, between Tottenham and Liverpool was uh, was fresh off the press. And a week later, I've got to say, I'm, I'm quite uh, disappointed and disgusted by what many of us predicted would happen, which is just a big sweep under the carpet. We see this a lot, don't we, where something big happens and the response from those who are responsible is either to lead from the front, uh, stand up, take questions and make changes, or to run to the hills and hide and hope that it will blow away. And I think the latter has taken here. It took, what, three days for the audio clip to come out. There is no uh, statement of change from the PG, MOL uh, uh, or the Premier League. And we are left with another round of Premier League games, which will distract from what happened last week. Uh, I was listening to what Mike Dean had to say earlier. And uh, he basically had, uh, uh, in a few bullet points, said that um, um, it won't happen again. It won't happen again, but protocol won't change uh, probably until the summer when everyone meets together and discusses it. Um, mistakes will happen. And uh, he was also asked, well, what if somebody had said, we know we've made a mistake, stop the game and change it. He said that the referee who stops that game and breaks protocol would probably not referee for the rest of the season. Absolutely incredible. So, so, so basically where we are is nothing's going to change. The outcome of what happened last week is nothing will happen. Nothing will happen at all. And the sad thing is that it's sort of been deflected. I think uh, certain people have lent on their friends in, uh, in the media, ex-players who have said, let's accept an apology and just move on. I'd love to see whether these people would have accepted an apology if it happened to their club. I really don't think they would. And I think that's where, where, where people have gone wrong here. It's sort of been aimed at Liverpool because it happened to Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp mentioned a possible replay, even though he knew it wouldn't happen. And it sort of became about ridiculing Liverpool in the latter part of the week instead of staying where it was at the start of the week, which was to, um, you know, really focus on the fact that this was an injustice of football and it could happen to anybody. The way I look at it is this. That they're very, very lucky this has happened in October. It could have happened in May. It could have been the game that cost Liverpool the title. That's how big of an injustice this was. And it could have happened to your club. It could have happened to my club. And I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted with the way, with the reaction to it. I'm disgusted with the way people have just sort of gone, let's accept an apology. Um, and I'm disgusted with the way it just seems to be carrying on as normal. There is no change to protocol. There is no change to rules. I mean, I think there was a real opportunity to make some big changes that fans would have really been able to say, well, at least they're trying. You know, we're going to we're going to bring more consistency to handballs. We're going to bring more consistency to red cards. When we book and send the player off for diving like we did for Suma today, we're going to do it for everybody. But we won't. We'll continue to see the same inconsistencies from what I believe is a dictatorship that has spent another week protecting itself instead of serving those who matter the most, you the fans. So, look, I, I'm not happy with what's happened. I think it's an absolute disgrace. And I think it's really, really sad. And I hope that Liverpool keep looking at every option they've got. Because as I said, if this was your club or if this happened at the end of the season and cost you relegation or a league title or a Champions League spot, I think people would be very, very different. A legitimate goal was negligently and willfully deprived of a Premier League club last week. This is not the same as a handball or a penalty or a red card when they make mistakes, but they do it because they think they're right. And then after the game, they go, maybe it was a red card. I'm sorry. This was in a game. We know there's a goal and we're going to play on because of protocol. An absolute stain on the game that seems to be being swept under the carpet. And I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good at all. What would I like to see happen? I think that um, what I said there, I think there was a real opportunity to bring all the clubs together and, and, and listen to everybody and say, look, we can't do anything about that goal, but we're going to make sure there's no inconsistencies with handballs anymore. This is a handball. This is not a handball. Red cards. You know, I don't think that that Curtis Jones red card was a red card. I think it was a great opportunity to overturn it and say, look, we've spoken to a lot of people who've played the game. We've listened to people who say, look, the intent's not there. It's unfortunate. It's not a red card. There was a real opportunity to make change. And they've spent all week hiding and, and, and moving away. And they should change protocol. They should change protocol. How ridiculous it is in a game of football that you know you've made a mistake and you know a goal has not been given, but 20 seconds later, you can't then change it because protocol says you can't. How can you, how can, how can Mike Dean say it won't happen again? 
it's already happened and you're not changing the rules. Incredible. Absolutely incredible.